Hey folks, Tristan from NoiseGate here with video two in our series of wave state tutorial videos. In this video, we're going to focus on vector synthesis. So one of the cool things about the wave state is that we can layer up to four programs together. Each program has its own individual set of wave sequencer layers. Um, the four of these layers together act as a performance. So we can come up with really interesting complex patches by layering together these different programs. Uh, to build one from scratch, I'm just going to jump back to our blank initialized performance, which sounds like this. Just a really simple sound in layer A. Um, you can hear there is still a bit of motion there. That's because it is in itself a wave sequence, albeit a very simple one. Uh, we get the option for each layer to be either a wave sequence or a multi-sample set. We select that by choosing the layer, then pressing wave sequence select. Navigate to mode, and we can choose either wave sequence or multi-sample. A multi-sample is just a bunch of samples which form an individual sound like an acoustic piano. So it's more static, it doesn't evolve over time. Um, a wave sequence, on the other hand, has a lot of movement and motion to it, like this patch. OK, bad example. Let's try this one. Let's try a different one. OK, you can hear there's quite a bit of movement happening here. Let's just find a more melodic example. Cool, that's a nice start. Let's move to layer B. We'll double click it to turn it on. And let's choose a different wave sequence for layer B. Let's try this one. It's cool, not quite. Let's try this one instead. Okay, that's getting more and more interesting now. Now let's go back to the performance page. If I hold down shift and press page right, I get an overview of all the different layers. Here we just have two blank layers happening, and I can adjust the relative level from the screen as well. Another thing I can do is choose program presets from the screen. So instead of having to choose the individual samples, I can just turn the scroll wheel and choose a different preset for layer C. Let's turn that on and try that now. I'll try a different one. That's cool. That's getting pretty interesting. Let's go back to our performance overview, navigate to layer D, turn on layer D, and choose another preset for this one. OK, that's pretty fun. So like I say, we can, from this page, adjust all the relative layer's volumes levels. Alternatively, we can use the vector stick. To do that, we have to activate a vector volume, which is done by holding down Shift and pressing Vector. Now we can use the stick to blend between our four different layers. For example, here's just layer A, just B, just C, or just D. Or in the middle, we can hear all four at one time. This has just been a really quick look at vector synthesis, but uh, stay tuned for our next video coming very soon.